you are not going to want to miss this video. I'm glad you stopped by. This is the Jim of All Trades channel, and uh, I'm Jim. Glad you're here today. Um, it is uh, today's Thursday, uh, May the 9th, 2019, and we're going to be looking into Bitcoin today specifically. I want to show you how uh, to build an Elliott Wave count from uh, from scratch. I want to show you my thought processes and I want to walk through this as quickly as possible using the principles that I've been trying to teach along the way. We want to use uh, our Fibonacci levels and as well as we want to use uh, uh, our wave structure uh, counting waves and so what we want to do if you don't know Elliott Wave today's your day you want to watch how we process through and I think I have a really really good bead on this count finally I feel very good about where we're headed and I want to show it to you today so stick around through the whole thing and uh, you'll learn a ton about how Elliott Wave is helpful uh, to us in our trading okay uh, before we begin I just want to remind you I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice this is how to read markets and uh, how to uh, how to think about trading in those lights okay let's get started now when we think about an Elliott, Elliott wave count what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the first thing we want to think about is start where we have uh, reversals okay so we know that this was a uh, we we know that this up move was a big was a big impulse, right? And then we have a correction, so that means we're beginning most likely an impulse. I am more and more convinced that we have indeed hit the bottom of our uh, count, and we're heading up. Uh, and the bear uh, the uh, the bear market is most likely over, uh, and I'm feeling very good about uh, what I'm seeing here. So uh, the doubts are uh, daily day by day going away. But let me just show you. Uh, where to go from here we have we have the swing low here and so what we want to do is uh, ask ourselves okay what's happening here we expect it to come up in five waves okay after a correction an ABC correction we're expecting five waves as an impulse and that will be the first wave one of a larger impulse okay so how do we build this wave one count well obviously we've got uh, the first swing right here down to the second swing so that's kind of an easy wave one to see so we're gonna mark that as a one uh, let me change colors here just so uh, we can see it a little bit better. There we go. Uh, we're going to come down here to a uh, wave two. That was the swing, and that's pretty easy to see as well. This ought to be ABC. Now the question is, where do we put the three wave? Okay, uh, I'm I'm going to put it up here uh, for now, and then I'm going to put the four here and the five up here, and that's generally the shape of an Elliott wave: one, two, three, four, five, like that. But the question is, what is all of this right here? So the second step you want to you want to look at is uh, we need to start thinking about uh, Fib Fibonacci relationships. And so what we're going to do is find the extension of wave one to two using our Fib uh, our Fib extension tool. So we get our trend based Fib extension tool. We click on the bottom of wave one to the top of wave one. Then we're going to measure down to wave two. We're going to see where that brings us, and I'm going to bring that Fibonacci over to here. You'll notice that the 618, the 1.618 extension, that is the most common third wave extension. Okay, you often see third waves come to the 1618, but let me tell you another location that is an also a common ending to a uh, uh, to a third wave. That is the 2618. That is when you have an extended wave. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, when you have an extended wave three, that is likely the target. Uh, for uh, uh, for 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 a wave three, and so we're looking at up here as a possible target for the end of this wave three. So I'm going to bring this guy up here, and so now what we're going to do now now that I want to I want to verify that count. I say okay, um, if that's the case, can what's being created. Uh, in the market right now, can that uh, justify or can that be sustained um, by a subwave count? Okay, uh, what do I mean by subwave count? Well, listen, uh, wave one needs to have five waves, and so I ought to be able to zoom in and count five waves here. Wave two is going to have three waves, an ABC correction. Now, wave three is going to have five waves. Okay, uh, so what we want to do is see if we can count those five waves. So you can see, uh, let me change the color here. I'm going to make it green. I'm going to get this. Uh, Fibonacci off the screen for now just to clear the chart a little bit uh, let's go to uh, a bright green you can see that there's five waves going up that's a clear one wave followed by a really short two wave now the question is where does that three wave come okay where's the three wave inside the three come I'm gonna put it here for now uh, we're gonna four 
and 5. So what we're going to do, so I've got the waves drawn in there. Now let's, let's put the Fibonacci tool here and let's measure uh, wave 1. The bottom of wave 1 to the top of wave 1 down to wave 2 and let's see where that comes. So now we're measuring just the third wave and you'll notice that the 1618 is right here. This could be right here. Get off of my screen. Uh, this could be um, the landing point for our wave 3 right in here. So if we counted that this might be a 3 wave. That means we had just this little truncated 4 four wave and now we have possibly an extended fifth wave heading up to the top okay now how do we project uh, the fifth wave well there's a couple of ways to do it um, you can you can measure the entirety of the one to three uh, excuse me one two three four uh, to the four so we can take our fib extension tool put it in the entirety of one to three come back to four and we're looking for somewhere around the uh, 618 uh, retracement which puts it right here um, you know that may may not be uh, the landing point so okay that that doesn't really measure out super well though the 618 we're coming up to it this might be the fifth wave but the wave structure doesn't look right so what else could be happening well this actually might be the end of our wave three where this this move right there was our fourth was our fourth wave and let's count we got a one two and then we're gonna have one two three four five waves in the third four uh, I'm sorry let me try that again one two three four five waves in the third four five so if this if this third wave is divided into sub waves and and, and, and it can be okay so let's divide that into sub waves a different color so let's just count that we got one We've got two, one, two, three, four, five, right to here, three, right there we go. So there's five waves in our subwave three of this larger three. So you can see how, and we can even go to a smaller time frame and count the five waves within this three. And that's usually the easiest place to see. And so you can continue go down, going down to the minutia uh, and see those sub counts as you go. So it's looking pretty verified. I, I like the way I like the shape of that. I like the look of that. So I'm going to get rid of this one just to, just to have it off the chart. That's looking like a pretty good sub wave count. Um, let's check the fibs and see if that helps us all the way up to here, down to here. And that brings our 618 right up here it could be an extended fifth as well but we're looking somewhere in this ballpark right up here as our landing point okay now um, now that means if this is our if this is our wave five um, we need to see five sub waves in it okay um, man I don't know this is this is really super tough count this is the difficult piece right in here right in here so is this wave three four is this wave three four uh, that is a super tough count uh, this might indeed be um, let's let's zoom in just a little bit here and see if we can see what we want to see here you can see that we've got a one wave right here followed by a two all of this might be three we might need to come down for a four and then we're going to come up for a five to hit the 618 uh, right in here that that might be the case um, yeah the 618 sitting at sixty four hundred dollars so that's that's looking like a pretty good target right there yeah let's uh, let's zoom in and, and and I think I think we've got it right here let's zoom in and look at this piece now um, and uh, see what we have let's go to the one hour chart here zoom in on that last wave okay so our target uh, our target up here is I, I put a mark up uh, way up here we put our three wave way up here at the sixty seven hundred dollar mark that's probably pretty high our six one eight is right here so this is actually the target that I'm looking for the six one eight is the extension of the third wave um, now <coughs> excuse me 
let's look and see what we have here. So if this is my third wave and then we came down for four, uh, the fourth wave here, then we need a five wave sub count right in here. Okay, so let's, uh, what are we going to do? Well, let's, um, I'm going to go to a little bit smaller time frame here just so we can make those waves a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can throw some fibs on here and see what we have. We've got right here to here. I'm going to get this larger Fibonacci off the screen just to get some. Okay, so what we have is we've got a 1 and a 2. Um, then we got the 618 right here. And so what's going on? What's going on in here? This is a really hard count. Um, I'm thinking, um, we're not certain, but I'm thinking we've got a 1, we've got a 2, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the third wave. This is the fourth wave. What we're making now is a fifth wave. Now, uh, this might be the end, end of 3, and this might be the end of 4. That's a possibility as well. And if that's the case, and I think that is I think that is what I was thinking before. Let's do a sub count here. Let's do our our fibs here and see what we have. Um looking for a one wave here. One, two, three, four, five. There's a one, followed by a two. There's our three, four. Uh this this might be three, four, five. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, that's a really tough, tough little place, but uh, that makes a lot of sense there. So that there'd be our four, and now we've got a clear one wave, followed by. So let's see what we have here. Let's do the fibs here. Measure it. Okay. Okay, we're making our third wave. Potentially, that is a potential uh, count. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, going down for two, going up for three. So we've got one, two, three, four, probably coming up here for five to make the fifth wave fifth wave of I mean the third wave of the fifth. That means our, our last wave is probably gonna come up here to the sixty five hundred dollar mark. Everything is pointing to sixty five hundred dollars, guys. Um, just looking at this LA wave count. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the way I'm uh, you know, slicing this up. Let me change the color here just so we can uh, see what's going on with this sub count. Here, one, two, three is going to come up here probably. Four back down here, and five. So I'm yeah I'm looking for a push up to the upside, uh, to about sixty three hundred dollars or so, uh, and then and then a uh, downside correction, uh, and then one final push to the uh, sixty five hundred dollar mark. That may take a while to uh, protract out. So. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking at from an Elliott Wave perspective. I wanted to just show you that and say, uh, you know, this is how we build an Elliott Wave count from using our fibs and using uh, using uh, Elliott Wave structure to verify. Uh, that's looking pretty good. That count is looking pretty decent. So let's zoom out and just kind of review uh, our major count here. Okay, so here's our major count. We've got a, we've we've built it now. We've 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 subdivided the third wave, and so we've got one, two. Uh, this whole thing that we're making is three, and I've, we've got a, we're going to put a target right up here, right at about sixty-five to sixty-seven hundred. It could be sixty-seven twenty-four, guys. It could go all the way up to there, uh, and then we're going to come down for four. So how do we project what this four might do if price comes up there to the four? Uh, well. Um, What we do is generally this four wave is going to uh, retrace 38.2% uh, of the three wave. And so if I put the retracement tool here on the, just measuring the three wave, okay, and we think it's going to come up here somewhere. Let's see, let's just say right about there. We're looking at 38.2, that's about $5,400. Is there structure to support that? Um, yeah, I got all my Elliott waves in here, and let me let me delete some of these so we can see the waves. Uh, is there structure to support it? Uh, most likely, um, I mean, there is structure. There's a line right here. I mean, there's. Let me get rid of these fibs as well, so we can see. Uh, let me draw some structure lines here. We've got definite clear structure right here at forty-eight hundred dollars. That's a that's a clear important level. Uh, we also have some structure right here. Um, if we zoom over, we've got some other structure that meets over with that. So yeah, I mean, we could could be here, uh, but I think more likely it's going to be here. So here's a guess. Here's a guess. Uh, this four wave will probably come down like 
so, but it doesn't have to. Um, but it certainly could. Um, this is going to look like this, something like this, A, B, C. That's if it comes down in an, a zigzag. Um, this could come, come over in a flat. Uh, so this could come uh, down to here. This could come back up, almost back up to the top. And then stay up here at this 32. This could stay up just like that. That's, that would be a flat correction. Where you see how price goes flat sideways, and then we go up for five waves. Now, since we have an extended third wave, uh, since that's what I think is happening here, if this is an extended third wave, and that means we're going to have a, fi a fifth wave that's about the same size as uh, the one wave, which the one is quite short, um, but it's going to be about the same size. So chances are we're going to do something like a double top. Uh, here and then we're going to come down for a correction. Expect a correction uh, later on in the year down to here. Um, you know, a, a larger correction. Um, may not get that either. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but uh, that's certainly a scenario. I think, uh, you know, as I just look at this count, I'm getting more and more bullish as we, uh, as we look at it. So, all right. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, now, what if I'm all wrong about this? And what if my... Um, you know, understandings are wrong. What are some other possible counts? Well, my alternate count, um, I've got two alternate counts, and I'm not going to walk through them, but uh, my alternate count puts uh, this, like, at, as, a, as the top of three. This is four, and we're actually making the fifth wave, and it's going to be a short wave, okay? Which, this makes a lot of sense as well, if you think about it, uh, because this puts the five wave about the same size as the one wave. Uh, so that's a, certainly a possibility. Uh, and so we're making uh, uh, an ending diagonal, basically, in this last fifth wave, and we're pushing up. Uh, that means we won't be pushing up as far. Uh, if, I had to, if I had to extend that, what would be the target if this is the case? If this is the case, then we would be extending... Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let's try again. I'm going to come up here to the 3, to the 4 here. 618 uh, puts us at about $6,400. So we still might have that push up to $6,400. Again, every count just seems to, to put us there. Um, you know, at at the top, so uh, you know, sixty four to sixty five hundred dollars is six one eight to sixty four eighty four uh, in in this. So sixty five hundred dollars is the target, guys. Everything just keeps pointing there. We're gonna have a reaction off of that, uh, and then we'll just have to assess things as as uh, as it plays out after that. So that's an alternate count, uh, and then and that's still a bull count. Now, what's the what's my bear count? Well, my bear count basically is that this whole thing is just a big ABC, okay, uh, and we're we're about finished. Um, so this would be a big A, we've got a B, and this is a C wave, and you can see the five waves, one, two, three, four, five, right there. And so that's, uh, that's another potential as well. So that's uh, that's an alternate count that I'm looking at and I want to be aware of. So I hope this helps you. Uh, keep in mind, this is dangerous, turbulent times because we're entering into this resistance zone, and um, we're expecting to wick up into the $6,500 range and then come down. Um, so... Anyway, I hope that uh, that thought process out loud helps you think about Elliott Waves a little bit more. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment section. And um, if you like the video, like it and uh, share it and uh, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, to put out a video every day uh, telling you where uh, what we're looking at uh, more details in the market and seeing what we can learn. Okay, I hope you guys have a fantastic Thursday. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Have a great day.